Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You may be aware that automobiles require periodical changing of engine oil for proper maintenance. But do you know what exactly is the function of the engine oil? Well, if you guess it right, the oil is used for the purpose of lubrication. In this video, you will be given a brief introduction on what lubrication is, why it is necessary for automobiles, properties of a good lubricant, types of lubricants, and types of engine lubrication systems. So let's get started. First of all, why don't you rub your palms together for a while, then apply a little bit of oil and rub it again. Won't you feel that it's easier now? So this is exactly what lubrication does. Lubrication is usually done to reduce friction between surfaces that slides over one another by applying lubricants over them. But why is it necessary? We all know that when two surfaces move relative to each other, there will be friction between them. Due to the friction, heat will be produced on the surfaces which contributes to energy loss. On the other hand, friction also results in the wear of the surfaces and it creates noise as well. The friction and its undesirable effects affect engines as they also have moving parts. This results in the malfunctioning of the engine and it can also make it succumb to failure. In order to avoid all these problems, lubrication is inevitable. Other than these, lubricants also have some additional functions. It acts as a sealing between piston rings and cylinder liners. It also cleans the engine surfaces. For achieving all these, the lubricants should possess certain properties. Now let us list out the properties one by one. First one is viscosity. Let's take two glasses. One is filled with water and the other is filled with honey. When we pour them out, the water flows fast whereas the honey takes some time to flow. This is because honey is more viscous than water. Viscosity is the inherent property of the fluid to resist flow. Now, let's assume both the glasses contain honey and one of the glasses is heated. While pouring, you can notice the heated one flows faster than the other. This shows that viscosity changes with the temperature. Therefore, the lubricant that we select for a particular working temperature should have viscosity more than required to ensure proper operation. You might have learned about flash and fire points. Flash point is the lowest temperature at which the oil gives small flames and fire point is the lowest temperature at which the oil burns continuously. These values must be high for lubricants so that they can perform their role in high temperatures. On the other hand, fluids may solidify and appear cloudy when it is subjected to very low temperature. This is denoted as cloud point and this must be low for lubricants. The next property is oiliness. It is defined as the ability of the lubricant to adhere to the surface of the metals. The oil must retain its presence as a thin film between the metal surfaces even at high loads and high speeds. This property is known as film strength. In addition to these, the lubricant should not corrode the metal surfaces. At last, the lubricant should be stable both physically and chemically. That is, it should retain its property at all physical conditions and it should be inert to other substances. These are the properties that lubricants must possess for ensuring lubrication action. The lubricants can be classified into four different types. They are animal lubricants, vegetable lubricants, mineral lubricants, and synthetic lubricants. Animal lubricants are synthesized from animal fats and they are stable at high temperatures but not preferred in engines as they produce fatty acids. Then we have vegetable oils which are extracted from vegetables. They are biodegradable but the disadvantage of these oils is that they are not stable at high temperatures. The next one is mineral oils which are extracted from refining crude oils. These are used up to a large extent as engine lubricants. Finally, we have synthetic oils. Synthetic oils are artificially made lubricants that can retain their properties at very high temperatures. Well, that's all about the types of lubricants. Now, let's move on to the types of lubrication systems. The lubrication systems used in IC engines can be broadly classified into three types. They are mist lubrication system, dry sump lubrication system, and wet sump lubrication system. Of these three types, wet sump lubrication system can be further classified into three types. They are splash system, semi-pressure system and full pressure system. We will discuss all these types, their working and applications in the upcoming videos. Until then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.